It's Friday night. It's 7 p.m. That means it's time for the Paul and Nikki Show. The greatest show on earth. Yeah! Hey, I am not Nikki New. No. I'm not Paul and Denver. But this is the socially Paul distanced Paul and Nikki, Nikki Show. Oh, yeah! Why is there a pen in my hand? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> Have you been stealing my pens? No, you can't, because you can't touch my stuff. <laughs> what have you been up to, Nikki? Yeah, uh, what have I been up to? Gen wow, lots of Christmas shopping and putting our decorations up. And I absolutely love Christmas decorations. What about you? I think they're just so lovely. Well, I think I mentioned I've got a, a, a new oh, tree. Yeah. I bought a, yes, I bought a proper gorgeous. tree I've this seen, year. I saw that it's it's starting to shed yeah, its lovely. needles everywhere. All, it's all over oh, the floor. Oh, yeah. Really? Very long. Oh, yeah, it's starting to the shed. picture that um, wifey shed was nice. So hopefully it'll still be tree. all uh, yes. green by Christmas Day. So oh. yeah, we've been on Revelation TV. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. So our, our film yeah. uh, Message of Hope has had around about half a million people wow. watch it. Yeah. And, and Mr. Um, J's song on there. Mr. Well, J's song, of Mr. course. J. Mr. J win. Yes. Mr. Britain's J. got talent fame. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so half a million people have watched that which is absolutely incredible and then last night it went out on Revelation TV all over yeah. planet Earth literally the whole globe got to uh, got the opportunity at least to watch the message of hope so untold millions yeah who knows it's amazing so, isn't it praise it's amazing. God for that one so, yeah. yeah brilliant good stuff good, good stuff. stuff okay so happy what have we got coming up next freaky facts it's time for Freaky Facts! Freaky Facts! Woo! Okay, Paul, over to you. <laughs> what Freaky Fact have you got to Did start you know, us off with this week? In America, that's my American accent, by the way. <laughs> right. hope, hope you Americans will appreciate that. I'm an American. Okay. <laughs> It's terrible, isn't it? It's not the best. Howdy, though. everybody. Howdy. Um, in America, apparently on Route 66, there are grooves in the road that as you're driving along, yeah. these grooves play a tune and it's called America the Beautiful. Really? So, yeah, there's, really? I don't know if the whole Route 66 has a cool. big, that's right from um, the east to the west. It's all the way wow. across the country. But there's, there's an area or a certain part a certain of the road that if you it, go yeah. over it, like rumble strips, I guess, it plays that, that song. I think that's quite, cool. quite freaky, like quite that. fascinating. Cool. And I think it'd be, it, more roads should have that. Yeah, that's good. Like driving to London, God save yeah. our gracious <laughs> queen. Yeah. God, you know. And they could change it for different seasons. Like they could put a nice Christmassy tune on as well. Yeah. They, at a certain Christmas time. You know, Come nice. on, council. Get on with yeah, it. Yeah, get on with it. Messing over potholes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, we do need the potholes. Maybe that's what, that, that's what they're trying to do with the potholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's so many holes in the road. They're trying to play a tune for us. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, and the oh, people okay. of Gloucestershire dance. <laughs> Super nutty today. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know when of mine then? Yeah, of course we yeah, do. Yeah, go on then. Okay. Um, apparently, cucumber slices can fight bad breath. You'd know. So, oh, I'm rude. I'm rude. No need for that, viewers. What's there's oh, just no like, need you excuse me this is socially distanced anyway talking to Nikki sometimes like walking to the fish market I'm only joking Nick I'm only joking <laughs> so here's a weird fact you might know cucumbers their yeah, cucumbers can fight bad breath if you don't have a mint on hand use a slice of cucumber yeah, because we all carry that around with us, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I haven't got a mint. Right. Hang on a minute. Get your cucumber Put my hand in my pocket. Back. It's a slice of cucumber. Can you imagine all the hairs and the you fluff that'd be over that in your pocket? A slice of cucumber. Slice of cucumber. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, so there you go. If you haven't got mints, get the cucumber out. <laughs> now, did you know this is a shocking fact? Shocking fact. Now, right. 163,000 pints of Guinness... Right. Are lost every year to beards and moustaches. Ooh, gross. Yeah. Gets caught, oh, wiped it off. Yeah. 163,000 pints are wasted oh. because people have <laughs> moustaches and beards. Now, what I had this week, and I mentioned this to you already, something that sounds very controversial, folks, until you try it. I had a Guinness 
shandy. Half Guinness, half uh, lemonade. And whose idea was that? Well, I don't like to brag and boast next. Excuse but... me, that was my idea, guys. This was my idea to do the Guinness and the shandy. But we couldn't have the Guinness and shandy last time, but so it's obviously still on your if mind. If it tasted horrible, guess Guinness whose idea it would have been then, Nick? It would have yeah, been my exactly. idea, wouldn't it? What? No, it would <laughs> Steph, once again, Dan, he's twisting stuff, Dan. Wow. But it's, honestly, guys, try it. I was pleasantly surprised. Because I, I like beer shandy. Lager shandy, not so keen on, to be honest with you. Mm, it's not and I thought, good, Guinness shandy, no. is this going to work? Because Guinness has got a very unusual flavour yes. anyway. Yeah. And I tried it and I was like, oh, man, this is actually really, really so nice. So one of Nicky's ideas was really good. One of them. Yes. See, you just can't admit it, can you? You can't admit the fact I that it's my idea, it. and you just can't admit it. Well, you I have, literally just admitted it. I said it was a good it. idea. Only because I just said it. And then you, with your only psychosis, turned around and said, "You can't admit <laughs> it, can you?" <laughs> yeah, only because I. Did. You didn't say it was my idea, though, did you? You didn't actually. You made that as if it was your idea, when actually it wasn't your idea. <laughs> yeah. You stole my idea. That's what it was. And then you claimed that it was your idea. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, people need to know the truth, so there we go. They do. Okay. <laughs> they really do. Okay, over to you, Nick. Over to me. Right, okay. Um, it took the creator of the Rubik's Cube. Do you remember those? They're pretty cool, mm. aren't they? The Rubik's Cube. Erno Rubik. One month to solve the, solve the cube after he created it. Wow. As of June 2018, the world record is 4.22 seconds. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. He created it. It took him a month to, do, to work it out. It's I used to it. have one, and I've got to be honest, <laughs> you take out the box. You used to have like this, the, the round ones as well. Oh, I don't remember, do you remember the round, the round ones. ones? They're no, kind of like, yeah, they're kind of shaped. Oh, okay. And uh, so I took it out of the box, tried it, couldn't do anything with it. So I took the stickers off and I put the stickers back on so it was completed. Huh. And I did that in about half an hour. So take that. What was his name? Um, Erno Rubik. Take that, Erno Rubik. <laughs> Rubik. Yeah, well, I he's, solved he's the puzzle in the half profit, an hour. <laughs> so he's not bothered. I took okay. the stickers off and reattached <laughs> them. <not> <laughs> Take that, Erno. Wow. Okay. All right. Have we got any more or is that it? That's it for That's me. That's a freaky fact. two this week. Yeah. Um, should, I start, should I do one more? Yeah. One more. Okay. In 2005, Mark Zuckerberg unsuccessfully tried to sell Facebook for 75 million. Wow. I bet they're regretting that. Now. Back then it was called The Facebook. Mm. That's a bit weird, isn't it? The Facebook. You watch the films, Social Media? I think it's called Social Media. No. Is it called Social Media? No, Social... Wow, 75 million. Can Good you film. believe it? Amazing. Drive I know. Them. And now it's worth... I don't know. Billions, if not billions trillions. Billions and trillions, exactly, yeah, wow. I bet they're kicking themselves. But they you hear be, of all of these they? deals, don't you, that could have gone ahead. That's like right, with yeah. like movies like Terminator yeah. with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Home they alone. could have made yeah, home yeah. Alone. millions and millions. And people are and like, lost no, that's a bad so, idea. There we go. Sometimes like the dragons you've got to take then. a chance. No, take a chance. No, don't want that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going over hey. to the. The Games of Insanity. Games of Insanity. Karate punch! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty go marshmallows. <laughs> and so this is just a very, very simple game. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. It is really a simple game. You can just do this at home. So we've got a bag full of marshmallows. Mm. I'm suggesting that we take out one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten. Right. 10 marshmallows and what we have to do is throw them up into the air and see how many of them we can catch in our mouth. The person <laughs> oh, who no. catches the most <laughs> oh, no. uh, wins basically and it has to go up I would say more than six inches into the air so you can't just kind of like go ah, just, just chuck it into your mouth. You've got to throw it up and then catch it with a, an so open So what, mouth. do you take it in turns or Take what? it in turns, yeah. Right, okay. So Lady, that's, that's ladies first. Game. I was going to say that it's your game. You should there's no it, ladies really. here. Nikki, why don't you... Uh... <laughs> that's just so... Unnecessary, that really is. Ooh, bitchy. Ooh, bitchy, yeah. <laughs> Handbags out there already. I'm only joking, of course, Nick right, is a lady. Okay, okay. Okay, go on in. Right, one, two. Oh, close. <laughs> oh, I have a, I have a one. The pack, the pack was shut. Okay, so I've, I've won that first one. Go on. Oh, I have one. That's money. I'm not. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> Uh, no, I like her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're 
What did I get in the end? Was it 6 out of 10? I think it was, yeah, you did further. You did do well on that. I'll That's quite impressive. You did do well on that. Yeah. Okay, now we're going oh, to over nice. to... The oh, by the way, I... Of the week. Of course, Mr. I, I win Mr. Spoonie. 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 Not Mr. Forky, Mr. J. Mr. Spoonie. We had some sad news earlier. When we were um, extracting Mr. Spoonie from the bag, we realised <laughs> yeah. that one of his eyes had fallen off. <laughs> But Nikki jumped to the rescue. She had some <laughs> nail, glue. nail glue. Yeah, nail glue. <laughs> and she glued his eye back on. So yeah. I want everybody at home right now to show their appreciation for Nikki yeah. and give her a round of applause for saving Mr. Spooner's yeah, life. Mr. Spooner, he's got his two eyes again. He's got his two Yay. eyes. Now hopefully they're stuck back in the right way. Oh, I'm gonna check are. my mic's still on. Yeah. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> Okay. So Mr. Spoonie is alive, he's well, he's got full 2020 vision again, and he's coming Mr. home Spoonie with Mr. Paul again. because he got six out of ten marshmallows in his gob. Okay. He's not so, sick for it though, so yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, fair play, you did well. I'll give you that. You did well on that. High that, was pain, that was very painful for me to say, oh the pain of it. <laughs> okay. okay, so joke. Of the, the week. week. So will Will Maud, Mrs. Maud, will she shake her head in shame at Nikki or my joke, or will we have somebody laughing at our joke this week? Hopefully. We will I see how, how well they're I delivered. Think to be fair though, I do remember I'm sure Annabelle liked both of our jokes last week. So thank you, Annabelle. It's very kind of you. Thank you, Annabelle. She did make a comment on that, so it's yes. very kind, Annabelle. Thank you, Annabelle. We like Annabelle. She thank knows. you for being so yeah. kind to yes. Nikki. <laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> I know it's hard to do. I'm not a bridge. You know. Get over yourself. <laughs> get over yourself. Okay, do you want to go first? Speak or yes, I? I go first then. Okay. Okay. Oh, mind you, I did go first last week. So. Sorry. Okay. So, okay, so um, why aren't koalas actual bears? They don't meet the qualification. Oh, I do like that this week. That was a good joke. It was well delivered. Well done. Yay. I think this week you might have had some laugh at you. Okay. Qualifications. Okay, what about this one then? <clears throat> Don't you hate it when people answer their own questions? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you did laugh because it was a good one. I think this week we both had people who appreciate. <laughs> it's all about the hype. It's all about the hype. Okay, what are we going over to next? Holy ghost gossip. It's time for oh, holy ghost, ghost gossip. gossip. And I think the topic this week is Christmas. Christmas. Star. Christmas star. What's Christmas the Christmas star. star all about? Did you know that on the 21st of this month, yeah. of December, yeah. that the planet Jupiter and the planet Saturn yes. are aligning yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the horizon and it's going to be forming the Christmas star? Apparently, they come close every 20 years, mm. but mm. this close, it's like every 800 years or something. And Maybe. the last time this happened, like... Um, 
significantly was over Bethlehem mm, in the year 6 mm. BC when Christ was born. Mm. And this could well be the, the star that the Magi followed all the way from Babylon to come mm. and worship the Jewish Messiah. It's amazing, isn't it, really, that sign? I mean, I, I just love stars any, anyway. And of course, like from your teaching the other day, the Magi, they studied that, didn't they? Astronomy and astrology. And so it's quite awesome how they had that teaching from Daniel mm -hmm to sort of then lead them to realize that this is this was happening years later and that you know um, this star was a sign of the, the messiah the jewish messiah that was being given to the world for our sins so mm. it's amazing yeah because awesome. a lot of people could kind of read the bible and see the christmas story in it and say oh that's just a fairy tale no 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 and then like astronomy goes and proves it Exactly. And um, yeah. I had this um, program, I can't remember what it's called now, it's Stargazer or something like that. Yeah. And it positions the stars. And because stars run mathematically, mm. you can always predict where they're going to be, uh, mm. like the movement of the heavens and stuff like that. Um, you could literally go back in time to the year of Jesus' birth, which was about 6 BC. We know that because Herod died, um, in, I think it was in 4 BC, and he tried to kill any mm. children under mm. the age of two. So we know about 6 BC is when Jesus was born. <coughs> And when you go back on this Stargazer computer program to 6 BC mm. and you travel to um, Iraq, which was ancient Babylon, mm. um, and you look towards Bethlehem, that's where you see Jupiter and Saturn wow. merging together awesome. over Bethlehem in 6 BC. And amazing? so all these people said, oh, it's just a fairy tale, never happened. Yeah. Once again, science proven has proven it. it. Archaeology yeah. proves the Bible over and over and over again. And, uh, you know, anyone today living in the 21st century that says the Bible is just full of myths and fairy tales, they simply have not researched the material. No, that's right. The Holy Bible has proven itself repeatedly. Mm. It is a trustworthy mm. historical and archaeological book. Mm. So I would say as well, if you want really, really awesome teaching, tune in to... Clear Spring Church. Our Bible study, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bible I can't say study. it's awesome myself, it's just me. <laughs> well, it is awesome. It, you, you know, you might be a little bit modest there. It is. It's brilliant teaching. You know, Paul studies so hard for it. And as far as I'm concerned, you don't get any better teaching. And it is, you learn so much from it. It's excellent. So, yeah, if you want in-depth meat, good, solid, biblical teaching, then tune in to Clear Spring Church um, Bible Study Tuesday evenings, 7.30. Yeah, on Facebook, right? On Facebook, Okay, yeah. brilliant. Love to see you there. Yeah. Now we're going over to okay. Ooh, the Pie Face, face Challenge. Oh, is it me? Oh, it is. It's Nick's turn <laughs> it's this week. Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we've got to do is <laughs> I've got a load of balls. Again, I think we did do with oh, we that was it with the last one. We did the banks, the balls. Yeah, we? I've got balls again. So what we have to do, we have to get up for this one again, and we have to carry a ball at a time yeah. in between like our thighs and drop it into the box hey. and see who can get as many in there in a minute. Who can get the most in there basically within a minute? Okay. So that's what we have to do. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to like obviously quickly. Sort of go on and do that in a second. <laughs> well, what, what, okay, what do we need to do? I've not been told about this. So, what do we need to do? Do we need so to change the to, camera around? We need or? to, yes, we need to change, like we did, you know, we did duck hunts. Oh, yeah. Same thing, yep, we yep. need to do that. We need to change the camera. <laughs> okay, join us in a moment. Join us in a minute, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to do the pie this week. 
silly pie. I won, Dan, I won! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, do you have anything you want okay, me to say? So you have to say, <laughs> Mama says stupid is as stupid does, and then just go splat. <laughs> Mama, what, Mama? Mama says stupid is and stupid does. No, what is it? Oh, yeah. Now it goes. Mama it goes. says stupid is <laughs> and stupid <laughs> does. Splat! <laughs> yeah! You had your proper splat! That was a proper splat! That was a tame splat! That was a proper that splat! That was a tame splat! Was it tame? I don't know anyway, really it's tame! I I that was a proper you splat! You need to do it twice, the technique was twice! Yeah! <laughs> It's a very light splat, guys, you know. But... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, guys. See you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. We hope you liked it. Now, what would be really nice is if you would subscribe to our channel and told all your friends about us. As this would advertise our show for free. And it would be really nice if you could do that for me. <laughs> the Paul and Nikki Show. The greatest show on earth. Woohoo!